Hi students, welcome to Year 11 Biology and Module 1, Cells as the Basis of Life. This is the first video where we're just going to really um, set up what we're going to be doing in this topic, a nice little introduction to cells. So as we launch into the beginning of our study of biology, we just need to be clear about a couple of the key things that are really important as we move forward from here. The first thing is that biology is the study of living organisms and really the the basic currency of biology is the cell and that's why it's the most logical place for us to start. When we're looking at living organisms we want to look at the relationship between structure and function. In fact those two words are so important that I'll just note them down. Structure and function. So often in biology we look at we can see relationships between the structures that we see either uh, in a, an organism level, so the actual cellular nature of certain types of unicellular life and how that helps them to function in the environments they find themselves. Or we might also look at specific types of cells within multicellular organisms or particular organs or organizations of cells and how that organization helps the cell or the structure, the tissue, the organ, or the organism itself to function in its environment. So structure and function operates on a number of different levels as we look at um, our study of biology. So when we study biology, we're studying living organisms, how they function, how they interact with one another, and also how they relate to the external environment. In fact, in our fourth module, we'll be looking at ecosystem dynamics and looking very specifically at the relationships between living organisms and the ecosystems in which they live. But in this topic, we're going to focus specifically on cells because cells are biological currency. They are so critically important to our understanding of biology that we must start with them first. They're the small living units of any organism and in fact for certain groups of organisms, the most numerous uh, on earth, they are the entire organism. They also come in a wide variety of shapes according to the different functions that they have, either as single cellular organisms or as part of multicellular organisms, tissues, organs, and so on. So we're going to look uh, in our first module at unicellular organisms and also multicellular organisms. Hopefully that provides just a little introduction to what we're going to be doing uh, through this topic of cells as the basis of life. And we'll look in the next video at the two main groups of cells, prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Thanks for watching.